What is this place? Yes, but no one's been here in ages. I doubt the electricity still works. Good thing we have a flashlight on us. Don't forget to take it out of your bag before we move on. Some specks of dust shimmer in a ray of streetlight falling from the window. Other than that, the room is dark. An airy feeling rises in your chest. Sounds good. Triceps hum at the sight of these weights. Show the world what kind of beast it's dealing with. Lift them. There are no collars on the barbell. This is a safety hazard. Why does it feel so familiar? No, it's not that. It's the stale smell of rubber. The squeaky sound of sneakers your bruised knee against the mat, and a whistle. Then the feeling is gone. It's just a memory. You're right, the weight may fall off. Better not touch it then. No one does until they get smashed into the barbell. This appears to be some kind of machine with a cube-shaped heart and a wired framework. The keyboard has a rectangular on-off button. A piece of paper still hangs from the printer. A radio computer? Just sitting here without anyone inside. This is the Ream Civic radio computer, model RC5120. Equipped with a Feld mainframe and a Ream-compatible printer. We have one of these down at the station, but I never really learned how to use it. The machine lights up like some prehistoric animal stirring from its slumber, revealing fluorescent play and print keys on the keyboard. The hatch on the machine's central compartment is wide open. It's empty like a beehive without its brood. Some cables have been left dangling, disconnected. This is where the memory should go. Nothing happens. Something's missing. There's no tape in the player. Nothing happens. Your flashlight slides over an old green chalkboard covered in scribbles, sketches and schemes like some ancient cave mural. Some of the writing has faded with age, 
but you can still make out sections here and there. Photos and drawings have been pinned to the board. These lithe, pointy-eared creatures appear to be different types of welkins. You make out autumnal candle welkins casting wax-based magic. Translucent welkins with organs shining under their skin and even ether welkins hailing from the vast emptiness of sidereal space. Who are all those creatures? Fantasies of a tortured, feverish mind? You should adopt one of those Wilkins as your persona. No longer a mere man, but a Wilkin. One of the Wilkins, towering among the rest, appears to be different, however. It's Vara Hamira, a high Wilkin. His face white and scarred like cracked marble. This is clearly a Welkin supremacist. The note says, All non-Welkin races will be purged. The Haldor, the Tworg, the humans, and even headless men. All of them purged. Imagine a world filled only with Welkin. Green Welkin, Dread Welkin, and the High Welkin to rule them all. An inordinate amount of time has gone into drawing these little Welkin creatures. Some people really like building a world, I think, even if it's just for a game. This looks like concept art for a project. It's not really real. Mm -hmm. Political commentary. That one has a great beard, too. Just look at those details. So much effort. The photo collage depicts barren, icy landscapes wrapped in perpetual night. You see permafrost and glacial landforms, dead trees grown in under the snow. Entire oceans have been frozen from shore to shore. There are pictures of settlements on dried up riverbeds, abandoned in a storm. Animal corpses in the dark, carcasses and bones. You see primitive oil rigs built into glaciers, boreal dvorg, yurts under the snow, great mammoth-like beasts of burden. A pinned postcard reads, The heat death scenario, a desperate fight for geothermal energy engulfs the world as Wirral becomes untethered from its sun, drifting through the universe. This is a monthly calendar from the year 50. Cryptic words like sprint, Daily Minimi and GPI span the marker-drawn grid, the grand scheme of production and money. It looks a bit like an academic calendar, only much more brutal. Minimi stands for a mini-meeting. It's part of a bigger framework for managing work called RUN. Station 41 tried to implement it a few years ago, but failed. As time goes on, the numbers in the boxes grow rarer and rarer. The board becomes an empty snowfield in the final days. Only failure and regret dwell in this region. Looks like they didn't make it. A note in the bottom left corner of the chalkboard says, see the prod schedule filament for details. The handwriting is only partly legible, but you can still make out three slogans, call in, tune out, we're all untethered, and heat death of the universe the full text reads, Heat death of the universe is the new black. Another note says, The biggest advancement in role-playing systems since the 30s. This old fireplace is covered in lines drawn in blue and red marker. The mesh spreading over the stone like blood vessels on alabaster skin. It looks ghostly and strangely ancient. The whole thing resembles Cadran mosaic tiles. Very percentic. History classes, students with their textbooks open, studying the roots of our civilization. Those aquarelle blue tiles looked beautiful in the sun. Radio frequencies, it seems. UKV 123.6. UKV 123.7, UKV 123.9. Some written notes, too. Unclear. It looks like a cardiovascular system split into veins and capillaries. Very advanced.
You think so? The web is comprised of radio stations, all lead back to one red heart, titled The Game Master Frequency. A note says, this one can listen in on any station it wants. They must have had massive air width. These things don't come cheap. Someone very important. The leader of a massive on-air game built by these people. A conductor for the hundreds of story threads that pass through the Game Master's frequency. Whoever decides to call in to a call-in station, it looks like. A list of names under the stations suggests people across six Isolas would be playing Muindi, Insulinda, Kotla, Grad, Samara, and even Ilmara. There's no way a little basement studio working here could pull anything like this off. My God, it's as if the less money they had, the more ambitious their project became. Exactly. This schedule, I know doom when I see it. The company was running out of funding. Nothing. It's just lines on marble. An echo from times long gone. No one has used the fireplace in ages. Why does art inspire you so much? Excellent question. Art is a diverse range of visual, literary, auditory, and performative creativity. It's an expression of imagination and technical skill. Additionally, it's history, criticism, and pure enjoyment. In short, art is the highest form of human communication, representation, narrative, emotion, and agency intertwined. Have you looked in the mirror lately? You have the exact features of a savage art critic, with that beard and those clothes, disheveled and prophetic. Perhaps you should try to critique architecture too. Yes, you seek substance. No vapid representations and reproductions of social mores as made manifest in stuffy biennials. We're talking real living art here. Become the art cop. Half art critic, half cop. Exactly. It's not only your duty to only catch the criminals of the street, you must also apprehend criminals of the printing press and the gallery, the trite and derivative artists and writers of the world. Go ahead and provide savage criticisms, art cop. The world is yours to rip to pieces and reassemble. Okay, what do you think is going on with that computer, chalkboard and fireplace? No, that's not it. I think... Like he's ready to lay out a fine theory, crafted together like a puzzle box. It looks like one of those popular pen and paper role-playing games. Only these people were trying to automate it, make it work on radio computers. Utter madness, he thinks, as a compliment. Through call-in stations, none of the players have to be physically present. Anyone in the world can participate in the game, as long as they have a two-way radio. Then there's the Game Master frequency that listens in on the smaller call-in stations. I think that was supposed to coordinate the stories, functioning as a master of ceremonies of sorts. Coordinating so many games would take a whole switchboard of people, possibly divided into sub-frequencies. Not to my knowledge. They make automated games in Gard, Messina, Konigstein. You know, places with industry. Not in Revachol West, among the ruins. But I don't think anyone has attempted to create an interisolary game before. We just don't have the technology. Indeed, those Welkins are a dead giveaway. Role-playing people love that stuff. The world looks like a modified version of the Wii World board game, with heat death thrown in. Super cool. Someone should give them millions of real, immediately. This game is too good to be left unfinished. 
No idea. They stopped filling out the schedule on the chalkboard. Indeed, it's ambitious and untethered from reality, but... It's too late for that, I'm afraid. Okay, let's keep moving. on the cube are still smoldering, casting the framework in a soft glow. Fluorescent play and print keys shine on the keyboard. Like a smooth draw, the filament slides into place. On the keyboard, the play key starts blinking. A bar of fabric right above the keyboard starts producing a soft hum. The sound of static seeps through the machine's planar magnetic driver. Have you stirred the ghost of the doomed commercial area from its rest? Could this be its dismembered heart beginning to flutter? The static gets louder, slowly filling up the abandoned hall, until a voice speaks out, crackling and old, cutting into the air. Good evening, Fortress Accident en rue de saint -Gislaine. This is East Kinslindian Rapid Station 1. Please repeat. Is this the production schedule? The filament you have inserted into the reader. Yes. Is that the production schedule? Good. Please repeat the password. Password? Of course it would have a password. That's why there's a human administrator involved. No. A hint system is not part of the protocol for repeater stations. Still no. I am contractually obliged to protect the privacy of the filament holder for press accident. Without filing a warrant with Intel, I cannot give you access to this filament. I'm afraid we are not doing that. Unless we want to wait for a month. Now, can you please repeat the password? Received. I will register this login attempt. Don't worry. Passwords have a way of turning up sooner or later. Fortress accident. Is there anything else I can do for you today? Fortress accident is the company on whose name the terminal you are currently using has been registered to. One moment. Fortress Accident SCA produces revolutionary interactive calling radio games. That's what the catalog says. That's not bad. Hmm. Any other questions? Yes, I am alive. I am 74 years old and my name is Yvonne. She repeats passwords. Programming people are all paranoid. I work as a 
Pieter are at the East Insulin Dion Repeater Station. It's my job to know where you are, votre serfident. As for me, well, I am sitting in my cubicle, surrounded by a wall of radios. Now, please tell me if there is anything else I can do, votre serfident. Thank you, and goodbye. Tiles on the cube are still smoldering, casting the framework in a soft glow. Fluorescent play and print keys, the filament slides out of its glowing nest. <laughs>